What up climber subscribers? We're here at Ring the Peak Trail. It is a chilly, chilly mid-morning. It's around 10.30. Heather's getting ready. Uh, we're gonna hike Raspberry Mountain today, so we're gonna take Ring the Peak Trail to Raspberry Trail. And um, should be fun. I think this is a 10,000 foot mountain, so I think there's like 2,000 feet of gain, maybe a little less, 1,500, I don't remember. Either way, it'll be right here. Peace. So, on trail, walking up some switchbacks to find a road and turn right. Walking up this quote unquote short uphill before we make our next turn, which is gonna be a left. And we're almost there already. Heading through this snowy meadow foresty area. So after you come up this short uphill, you'll see a sign here. Ring the peak that way. We're gonna make a left and go towards Raspberry, which is right over here. You want to follow that up where Heather is already. Okay. 0.9 miles per this sign, Raspberry Mountain. Here we are, getting on to the final ascent. Marching up this final. A little scent here. <laughs> We're almost there. Weave through here real quick. What's up? We're on the summit of Raspberry Mountain. Heather and Rocky chilling over there on the big boulder. I'll pan in a minute, but as you can see, beautiful 360 degree views. Just a really cool hike, really quick. Uh, we were definitely anticipating a little something a little more challenging than it was, but it was good. So basically, this was a easy hike uh, for the most part. There was two steep sections, but they were very short. Uh, one right before you turned left onto the Mount Raspberry Trail or Raspberry Mountain Trail, and then the second one is the final ascent. Uh, that's where your most of your gain is going to be found. You'll actually probably second guess yourself because you'll head downhill right before you hit summit. Um, as you can see, when you're hiking through this forest, there's a lot of little valleys where there's water running through and so you're kind of going through this terrain as you come through the forest um, so we're gonna chill out up here for a little bit uh, it's already starting to get cold so we'll probably head down soon and uh, yeah I'll do a pan what up so last little thing is it took us about 55 minutes to about 58 minutes we were sitting up here for a little bit before we looked at the clock um, and it was about 2.7 miles so that'll put us at uh, 5.4 round trip. So, yeah. Peace. Hey, yo, Pooch. Hey, yo,
currently on our descent. Rocky's leading the way. As per usual. As per usual. Hi. There he is. So uh, we are now back on, uh, what is it? Circle the Ring Peak, or Circle the Ring Trail, or Ring the Peak Trail, I always forget. I think it's yeah, ring, ring, the peak. ring the Peak Trail, we're finally back on it. Rocky uh, doing some business over here. What do you think? Hi. Hi. What up, climber subscribers? We are back at the car. Round trip. It was like two hours and like one minute with our little sitting at the top of the summit, enjoying it for a little bit, taking some pictures and stuff. Uh, 55 minutes to 58 minutes ish to the top. So if you want to round it to an hour, go for it. And it was probably what 45 down. Yeah. yeah maybe 40, 45 down. So. That's a wrap on Raspberry Mountain. We gained about a thousand feet. I believe all trail says a thousand fourteen. Uh, we clocked 5.7 miles. All trail says five point, or I'm sorry, 5.4. We clocked. Uh, all trail says 5.2. I think that's all I have to cover. Trail is really straightforward, really wide. After the stream, just don't miss your right. And then once you get up that first steep section, just don't miss your left. You don't want to stay on. Um, ring the peak you want to go to raspberry mountain to your left other than that summit's pretty straightforward uh there is a little bit of if you want to call it scramblies scramblies at the top but not really trail kind of interweaves between them summit's gorgeous pan uh panoramic views so overall raspberry mountain was a success peace till next time